Hey guys, I'm gonna do a short video on the Mantis Pod from PGY Tech. Um, I actually bought two of them because I like them so much. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, but I noticed that the first one I had has a lot more backlash um, in, in the, the main joint. And I'll show you what that means right now. So not a big deal, but this other one I have has a lot more backlash. And it's so much that when you put a heavy camera on, it doesn't feel super stable. And instead of throwing it out or buying a new one or sending it back, I'm gonna try and repair it. So taking apart is pretty simple. There is one bolt that holds it all together. There is a spring, but it doesn't go flying, so don't worry about that. A little collar that comes out and a little washer. Now, what I'm gonna try and do, this is all metal piece. This is all cast. It's, it's gotta be aluminum. So I wanna squeeze this in a little bit tighter on each one. All right, let's try his needle nose. That seems to fit. So all I really wanna do is just give it a squeeze. I don't wanna break it. I'll do this on each one. And again, if this, even if this works, it's gonna be temporary. Eventually it'll bend back, but you know, it's sort of an experiment to see if this is really a solution to the problem. still pretty bad, but we can put, if I know that they're static, we can just put a shim in there. So if you can see what I'm doing, I'm adding foil tape to all these tips. Um, this comes in this big roll. And hopefully it's gonna add just a little bit of material to the plastic paws and Allow it to just engage a little bit more snugly with the metal teeth. Well, let's do a test fit, I guess. Let's put the spring back in. This on here. Try to line this up again. So we'll get it on like this. Let's reassemble this if I remember how. There's a washer that goes somewhere, not there. The outside piece. It just goes on like that. This is the end cap. Then this guy goes in here, like so. And this bolt just goes on top. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, that is a lot stiffer than this one. I wonder if I did something. Let's loosen that just a hair more. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Wow, okay. Again, the backlash is still there, but it's so much, um, it's so much sturdier feeling. So let's put a camera on here and let's see what it looks like. It's actually the way I normally shoot this, it be like this. Yeah, that is a, that has gone from really poor to acceptable. Before I go, I wanna tell you another trick. So you can buy it in two configurations. You, this is the stand, but you can, the, the base model comes with a speed head, which goes on here. Tightens down like this, and then you can just put on anything you want. While this looks a lot like the cold, see this cold shoe? This looks like that cold shoe, but it is not. See this tapered groove? Normal one looks like this. So if I put them back to back, you might be able to tell. And due to this tapered nature, this won't fit. But if you take a grinding wheel, you can grind your own little taper, and then I basically just took this ball head and put it on here. So this is 75 bucks with this. This is like an extra, I don't know, 40 bucks or something to get this, uh, to get, sorry, to get this ball head, which it's a nice ball head, but honestly, I prefer just putting a regular ball head on. Well, that's it guys. Thanks again for joining me for this really short video. If anyone else has this problem, hopefully this video helped you kind of figure out how to take it apart and fix it. And no, you don't have to throw it out or send it back. You can fix it yourself. At least I could, and hopefully uh, you'll find it useful. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a good one.